Good morning to my high schoolers. Today is December 1st. We have 23 days, 16 hours, and 14 minutes until Christmas. Since it is a new month of December and our last month of 2020, we have our new unit today or for this month. This is the holiday unit since we're in the month of celebrating Christmas. We have the gift of giving is going to be our title. I'm just going to go kind of a quick overview of it so we kind of know what we're identifying and focusing on for this month. So my level three learners, you will independently identify and describe opportunities for civic participation. My level two students will identify and describe opportunities for civic participation. And my level one students will actively respond to identify opportunities for civic participation. Now, the first book you are going to read is Give Giving a Try. And in this unit, you will learn about ways to help people and how other people help give and spend time with people during this holiday season. So throughout this month, you will find different ways to help people at school, at home, or in your neighborhood. In our life skills application, we will learn how to identify certain activities that take place within the month of December and National Day of Giving. That is today. It is celebrated on December 1st this year. The National Day of Giving is a time to focus on helping other people in the community. And we will learn about different ways that we can do that throughout this month. Some of our topic words and vocabulary words that you will be defining are care, family, friend, help, kind, give, feel, and community. So that wraps up our unit for the gift of giving and what we are kind of focusing on this month. Now for N2Y, it is really important since we're starting all over with a fresh unit that we make sure we really focus on our vocabulary words because we will see these throughout our stories a lot. So make sure you use your tools here to highlight certain things to know what each vocabulary word means. In our next box, you will define just three words today because we will continue to add to it um, throughout the month. So I just need you to do three. So here's one, two, and three. So all you have to do is three words today. All I want you to do is what kind of word it is. You can't add a picture. You can definitely look for pictures on Google search. And what is the definition of it? You can use it from the previous box where we learned our vocabulary words. And then I need you to write it in a sentence. You do not need to do this. Just these three things for defining those three vocabulary words. If you have time and would like to do more, you can do that. But we're only going to do three for today. And then you have your leveled book, which is um, that giving book. And then our journal writing. For our journal writing, I am looking for ways that you can sequence events. So knowing what happens first, what happens second, what happens lastly. And I guess I'll have to come back to that because it's not loading. Read and comprehend. This is comprehension questions from the leveled book that you will be reading. For math today, math is pretty simple. There's really nothing new, but I really want you to not use a calculator. No, no calculator, okay? No calculator. Try to do this on your own.
Again, this one's adding. Again, try to do this on your own. Um, the first box was adding up and down. So you would have added up and down. And this box you're adding horizontally, which is side to side. So that's what this box is we're adding. Here we will read a chart. So knowing that you can read, this is called a pie graph. Each one of these colors represents the color on this chart, on this pie chart. So like yellow represents donating items. So in this yellow triangle of this whole fraction here, fra one fraction part of it is the 12% which they donate items for how people help during the holidays. So again, make sure we're looking at the color to identify what people help for during the holidays. In this next box, or the next slide, you will then be answering questions about it. So it asks, what percent of people donate items during the holiday? So donating items is yellow. So I'm gonna look for the yellow here. Donating items, well, it looks like 12% donate items. So I'm just gonna put 12%. Do more people make food or make cards for the holiday season? Do more people make food or make cards for the holiday season? All right, well, make food is purple. So I'm looking at this right here. And then how many make cards, which is my orange box. So just by looking at the difference between the two sizes, it looks like purple is a lot bigger. And then if I look at the percentages, it says 36 and then 16. So definitely more people are making food for the holidays. And then what percentage of people give their time during the holiday? So again, I'm gonna go back and look for, on the chart, I'm looking for who gives their time and that is right here in my pink section. And it asks for what percentage. And it says 27. In this next um, slide, it's asked how many or how do people like to help most during the holidays? So you're going to do this one on your own. It says most during the holidays. And then number five, how do people like to help least? during the holiday. So knowing though, knowing that keyword most, so you're gonna look for the biggest one on this pie chart and then the least, the littlest percentage or color on your pie chart. And so next you will do subtracting, try no calculator once again no calculator, no calculator. Try to do this in your head or on paper or get you some counting tools. You guys can definitely do this, okay, on your own. So that was up and down. The next box then is going to be horizontal side to side. Here we have our, again, our positive and negative numbers, we have learned about this. This is review, knowing that our negative numbers are to the left of zero, and then our positive numbers are to the right of zero. And that's shown right here. All negative numbers are to the left. All positive numbers are to the right of zero. So complete what it's asking you to do. Mary Beth is handing out safety pins. She has four safety pins. Drag the blue butt, drag the blue point to the number of safety pins Mary Beth has on the number line. Choose the sign and fill in the number. So she has four safety pins. So I'm always gonna be making sure I'm looking for zero. Here's zero. So I'm gonna start at zero. Okay, 
and then it asks for four safety pins. So I'm going to count four from zero. One, two, three, four. So four safety pins right on here, right on four. So Mary Beth has positive. It's, I'm to the right of the zero, so it's going to be positive. She has positive four. Okay, so you complete the rest of those for positive and negative numbers. Let me know if you need There's help. More I do have um, some Google Hangouts today with the rest of my students that need to test. So I probably will not be available until after 11 if you need me today. Um, the last box as well. Same type of deal. We're adding positive and negative numbers. So always start with the first number and then we need to know whether we're adding or subtracting and this shows we are adding today so i'll do this first one with you mary beth is setting out protein bars on her table at the holiday race she has 10 protein bars she owes mario two protein bars if she gives mario the protein bar she owes him how many will she have left so she started with 10, so she started here with 10. But then she had to give Mario two of, of the 10. So we subtracted two, one, two. But we're still on the right side of zero, so we know that these are positive numbers. These are positive numbers. That's why I have my plus sign here. I'm trying my best. So I'm going to subtract 10 minus 2. So 10 minus 2, 9, 8. So it's going to be a positive 8 since I'm on the right side of 0. Positive 8. All right. So use this number line to help you and look at the difference between the positive and negative numbers. And then for your life skills application, this is identifying events on a calendar. So each calendar always has a month on it. There are 12 months within the year. We are in the last month of 2020. On our calendar, we always start with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. When it's asking the questions down here, that's where you will place your pin on each one of these points here. So it says Asher is going to the food drive on the first Tuesday of the month. So we know Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. This is the first Tuesday of the month. This would be the second Tuesday of the month. Then the third Tuesday, the fourth Tuesday, and the fifth Tuesday. So we always go down knowing that this whole line here is Tuesday. And we look for the very first one. December 1st. Asher is going to the food drive. So I click Asher is going to Asher. the food drive. You click on your next slide and it tells you again. Riley is attending the holiday race on the third Friday of the month. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now I have to go down three because it says the third Friday. One, two, three. So this is where Riley attends the holiday race. Okay, for social studies today, you have this book to read. Some of our key points here are going to be our communication board here. So the very last slide is what I always like to start with. There are 11 pages. So make sure you read through that. And I tried to kind of tie it into our unit of giving. So you will read that book first 
And then this right here is the comprehension questions for that story. Okay, so you will just complete that. Earth, space, and science. You need to make sure you're looking at December because I it starts a new month because it is a new month. And we will start biology this month. So the very first article you will read, we're going to define science. So our goal is to be able to answer questions through research and evidence. So if you need help reading this, please ask someone to read it to you. I know some of you had the um, dictation, the voice that speaks to you on your computer. So use that to help you. Again, those bold words are going to be your vocabulary words. And then the summary, it always goes over what the whole reading was about. And then the review of what questions might be asked. After that's done, you have your adapted practice then, which is the questions that go along with the reading for our new unit of biology and science. Again, I wanted to remind those, Austin, Kaylina, um, she's middle school, Leanne and Lexi, I will see you all today for your November test. I hope everyone has a great day.